how many giant pumpkins should you be growing on your giant pumpkin plant? In this video, I'm going to tell you how many you should be growing. Sam here with the Giant Pumpkins NZ YouTube channel. How's it going? Just a big shout out to everybody that already follows and is subscribed. Thank you to the GPNZ crew. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Make sure to sign up, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you won't miss any of the videos that are coming out. It's free to do. How many giant pumpkins should you have on a plant? Well, if you're growing a plant that isn't the giant variety, you can usually let it grow as many as you want. You're going for yield of pumpkins and for miniatures and other varieties that works really well. If your goal is to grow a giant pumpkin and you want to grow the biggest that you can, you really only need to have one pumpkin on that vine. Later on in the video I'm going to explain when the best time is to cut off the excess pumpkins that you don't need. But first let's talk about why you'd only want one giant pumpkin on your plant during the growing season. Having the one giant pumpkin on the plant means it's going to get all the nutrients it possibly can from the vine. It means that it can reach its full potential. That's the positive aspect of having one giant pumpkin per plant. Now if something goes wrong and that pumpkin fails, it's going to be the end of your season. That's the risk you're going to have to take if you're trying to grow the biggest pumpkin you can. Especially if you only have the one plant. Now if you've got multiple plants, that increases your chances of having a record-breaking giant pumpkin. So when is the best time to remove those excess pumpkins that you don't want? Well, you're going to have to wait until they get to the size of a basketball. Around that size, they will be set and they will continue to grow. Up until that point, they could rot, stop growing, or something else could happen. Making sure you've got all those different options during the season up until you pick your best pumpkin is very important, so make sure you do that. So there we go. That is how many pumpkins you should have on your pumpkin plant. Make sure to check out my video on where to position those pumpkins on the vine. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below. I'd love to know how many pumpkins you've grown on a plant before. Giant or otherwise, let me know.